Hello, welcome to another session of 3D AutoCAD session. So, today we are going to make this simple 3D drawing. This drawing we are going to make it in three parts. We are going to make the face part that is here in the red rectangle, and then we are going to move to draw these parts. Then, lastly, I'm going to make this part. So, without wasting time, let's go straight to AutoCAD environment and start our drawing. Okay. So, before I start my drawing, I have to I have to turn off this grid. I don't like the grids. It doesn't make my drawing come out clear. So, if this is the first time you are using AutoCAD 3D you have, you have to check if you are on 3D mode then. So if you are not, you turn on the modeling. So without wasting time, let's start. First of all, looking at the drawing, okay, we are going to draw this part, this part, this part. Let's start drawing that. So I'm going to start by drawing a rectangle. Pick a rectangle to. So you pick any points and type at the dimension of 72 comma 120 enter and you will have this rectangle okay then after that pick a circle to take the center and make it a diameter of 25 enter take the same center with the same circle to this time around radius of 30 enter again you make a radius of 86 enter okay so the next thing we are going to do is to trim i'm going to trim off this part it's not required and then i'll trim off this trim this trim this trim this and trim this okay so the next thing i'm going to do is to rotate so mirror so i'm going to mirror the whole of this so I'm going to pick this point and then pick this point and again I'm going to trim off this line they are not required anymore then I will have this so I'm done with the first part what I will do is to click this home height icon and I'm going to turn it to 3D now so what I will do is I will take press pull click inside here and take it up 36 units come here again do the same thing 36 units go inside here and take it 30 units and I'm going to change my visual style to shade it I will have this so if I turn it ok it's already on parallel then from here I'm going to make the next drawing in front so i will choose this front view and turn on my ucs to view and i can now start making my drawing next drawing so the next drawing i'm going to make a circle of diameter 75 so the same center i pick the same center another uh, circle of diameter 115 I will have this so from there I'll pick a line make this quadrant make sure the blind touches and this quadrant if your the quadrant is not on you make sure you turn it on here quadrant okay so from there I will pick that line come down a distance of 172 so the next thing is to take this line right word the distance of um, 57.5 and you take it up I turn on my up, uh, auto mode so that I will have a straight line take it up 6 units take it to the right 89 units take it up again 30 units and then take it left towards 66.5 units so from there, 
I will take it off again and but at this time I'm going to match it at this problem take it like this when you see that green line showing you go in that direction and then click it then you join the last part then I'm going to turn on my fillets now these fillets I'm going to make fillet of radius 5 and multiple and I will click here and here then here and here I will have this so the next thing I'm going to do is to turn into 3D so I will click on this home icon then I will have this so take press pull I'm going to click on this and make a distance of um, 110 again I will do the same thing to this make it a distance of 120 and if you can see it's, it's not at the center so I'm going to select it using this green gizmo move to and then move it a distance of 5 yes it's at the center right now so I can orbit, orbit this you know to check and I can orbit it like this Alright, at this point, I'm going to move it to join on the main drawing. So you move everything. Make sure you you pick at the center. You can zoom it to see where you pick it. So let's let's zoom this this center of this. Okay, and also look at the center of this particular drawing. You can zoom it. That should be the center. You pick it there. Yeah, it is not. So we are going to move it back again. So let's move it out and then. Let's make it parallel. Okay. So let's move it again. Pick it here. This should be the center. Let's delete the 2D um, geometry. Okay, so I'm going to move again. Make sure you locate the center of this top part. Okay, that is it. Then you locate the center of this top part also. Make sure you try and locate the center. Yes, finally, we have got it. So let's evolve and check. Okay, so it is in order. You see, it is in order. So the last part will be on the top view. So you select this top view. Let's select the top view. Okay, we are going to rotate it. Alright, so we have this. So you make sure you change this you see on like this and then you pick a circle to first of all you make a circle of diameter 45 and the same circle with the same center this time around diameter of 75. Okay, you pick a line. You take the center, you make that line 110, and then you take it up a distance of 97 to keep it there. At that point, you take another circle with diameter 115. Sorry, diameter, diameter 115. Yes, so at that point. You make a line at this quadrant now it is done a 172 then you try and join it to this circle but before you join you press shift key and right key and you choose tangents and then you click it okay now that one is done we are going to make another tangent you take a line 
you right click, you sh press shift key, right click and click tangent. You click on the circle, you come also come here, you shift, right click, tangents, and then you click on this circle and you have this. So we no longer need these lines. So we delete this line and we want to trim this circle. Let's see if trim will work. FTR, we want to trim it, it doesn't allow you to trim. We are going to look for another option. So you come to break tool. So when you click the break tool, you select the options. You pick, you click here, face point. You pick your face point somewhere here. Yeah, face point. And you take your second point. And we have this. Okay. So at this point, we are going to do press pull. So we are going to take press pull. We are going to do this. Uh, twenty-six and this one fifty. Let's rotate and see how looks like so we have this so in, for us to center this you take this grid move it a distance of 12 and that will be at the center so the next thing we are going to do is to try to make sure we move this thing and place it here so let's move M to select the whole geometry this part and you make sure you take the center and then you come to this center also bottom and drop it there okay so let's now rotate and see our drawing how it looks like finally this is what was required so at this point we have been able to do exactly what Let's look at the drawing. Look at the drawing here and look at what we have done. Exactly what was required. So we can delete the any 2D geometry for that. Before we can do that, you can select the whole drawing using solid union and enter. Then you can move it apart and then delete any 2D. Geometry and was this, and then we have this. We can we can rotate to see. What we have. So we have this. If you have been following our practice and you have reached this point, it means that by this time you should be familiar with AutoCAD 3D. We are going to do more before we finish the whole package. Believe me, you are going to understand everything. So, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do that so that you are going to get updates. And it's not going to stop on the I always say this. There are many other engineering packages we are going to do, even including uh, the normal um, general package like Microsoft Word, Excel, and Microsoft. So, there are a few things that I'm going to come back to do there. Alright, so. This is what we were required to do, and we have done that. All right, thank you for watching. Till next time, bye.